Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are playing the ever popular Shinobi. Let's see how this plays out on NES. I don't really remember it. I don't know if I ever actually played this on NES. Right off the bat, like, it is pretty kind of sad. Everything is so, like, slow. I mean, even your shrukens are just absolutely just abysmally slow. <laughs> the, the crawling on the crouch crawling is hilarious. You gotta love that. I mean, there is absolutely nothing <clears throat> worth even saying about this game, to be honest. We failed. Boo. Like, that is actually more fun than the actual level was, to be honest. I mean, frankly... I mean, it's so basic. It's 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 on the verge. It's really is pretty damn boring, to be honest. This is not the Shinobi I remember in like arcades and everything. I mean, even though the background is just so drab and boring. Like they didn't, they, it doesn't feel like they really tried at all. It's. I mean, the gameplay is nothing special, just kind of. And the levels, I mean, granted, the good thing the levels are short because they're so boring that it's like good thing to just move on from them because otherwise, Jesus. Wow. What is this? This is like a... This is... This is stupid. Like, this was awful. He just stands there. There's absolutely no animation whatsoever. These stupid fireballs are pretty much unavoidable. It's just, it's a very bad, bad showing of a game that I think everybody has fun. Ah. Uh. Good thing too, like we were done for. Like that was that was probably one of the worst boss fights I have ever played in my life. And that's saying a lot because we have had some shit tastic boss fights. That one sure takes the cake, man. 
Like, they didn't even bother to animate him. They just gave him a stupid attack that was almost unavoidable. At least you can move around when you're crouched. Like, I've stated so many times before in my games that that is like such a necessary feature for multiple reasons. And the funny thing is, this game doesn't, at least now, at the moment, doesn't really even require you to need to do that. Like, unlike a lot of games where you do, this one, you don't even need it, but they put it in there. But the games that you really kind of need it, they don't even put in. It's, it's hilarious. Yeah, this is the funnest part of this entire game. <laughs> like that that's so sad that the little bonus level is the most fun that you'll have in this game as otherwise this is just and so far it's virtually the same enemies like we have a guy with this <laughs> look at the AI they're just standing there with their swords crossed like it's I don't know. Like honestly, it feels like they put like no effort whatsoever into this game. It's almost like this entire game was like a, a afterthought. Like they bought the rights to Shinobi and they're like, "Oh, let's and then they just didn't know what to do." Like, that was the level. Like, are we kidding here? And as much fun as this is, um, let's, let's be honest, it, 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 it becomes very boring and, you know, monotonous real quick. But it's still the best part of the game. <laughs> oh, okay, it doesn't even... That's that's some bullshit right there. Like, come on. And there's another one. Luckily, you could see them. There's two of them here. Okay, that is just absolutely, like, we talk about some cheesy enemies in these things, but that has got to be one of the worst and stupidest. You can't duck them. You have no man... And then there's more. Like, this is the, the entire level. It's just these stupid fucking enemies that trying to actually avoid getting hit by them is like... Ugh. This game is absolutely atrociously awful. Like, they did nothing right at all. They got the crouching where you can move. That's it. That is the key thing that they did right other, over a lot of other games is the crouching and moving. But, but that, that does not justify the rest of the game. Like, the enemy design is, is boring and then annoying. Like, you have the same shit over and over again with just a guy standing there, sure, you, you duck. And then you got this one that's almost unavoidable and just absolutely fucking atrocious. And just, there's no redeeming qualities in this game whatsoever. The gameplay is slow, boring, monotonous, 
other than adding like one random enemy, like the ninja, the red ninja that's sitting on the wall, and then the other one that just has their sword crossed. Other than that, all the enemies are virtually the same. The level design is very bland and boring. They put no effort into anything in this entire game at all. Like you saw the boss. Like there was zero animations in that boss whatsoever. The fireballs were so awful looking. Like nothing, nothing in this game was justified anything about having it. This seems like the epitome of a shovelware game. Like seriously. It seems like they bought the rights to Shinobi and they just fucking stuck it out and just didn't care. They figured they were gonna, they, they probably did. They probably sold all their stuff on the name alone and because this is so far back that there was no real way of having a before you buy game or somebody getting their hands on it before it comes out. Nobody knew so everybody rushed out and was like oh Shinobi and then they brought this home and was like what the fuck. Alright guys well thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.